Get free gift cards, PayPal, and much more with Feature Points. What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we're going to be looking at the new update 1.21 uh, patch notes. So it's called update 1.21 Samuel Sales and Summer Party Kestrel, well just Summer Kestrel, but I'm pretty sure she's called like Summer Party Kestrel or something. Anyway, thumbnail for sure, that's totally a thumbnail. <laughs> and moving down here we have uh, the new final exclusive Summer Party Kestrel and Sauce, you see Kestrel right there. And then there's a new mage Samuel. All of this I will probably have linked up in the top right hand corner of this video just because I've already gone over him. Like I've done a bunch of videos on him. But when he comes out, I'm going to on the live servers do all of those different videos again because obviously it's different on the live servers. Like there's less lag, you're going against people who are more your skill level. So it kind of gets you a better idea of how the hero plays. So I'll be doing all those videos again as well as. Uh, skin reveals and skin uh, reviews for all the different skins including Summer Kestrel, oh yeah. Anyway, moving on here we got his abilities, you guys already know about all these. If you don't, again, top right hand corner of the video, it would be somewhere up here I believe. New hero skins, update 1.21 skin sale. Uh, all these skins will be available at the moment of 1.21 uh, arrives. So basically, there's not going to be like tiered releases or anything like that. As far as sales go, Summer Party Kestrel is 50% off, which is pretty sweet. Broken Dot Alpha Tier 2, 25%. Northern Rhyme Tier 3, 25%. So, I mean, 50% off is pretty substantial, right? Like, I would I would take that any day. Uh, but there's Summer Party Kestrel, Broken Doll Alpha, and Northern Rhyme. I agree with most people. That doesn't look Northwind. Like, it looks kick-ass, but it doesn't look Northwind to me. I don't know. That's just me, though. Summer Party Thin. Again, I made a video on this, but you can get them through attending events as well as through giveaways on YouTube and streams, uh, as well as through social media giveaways um, on the Vainglory, I believe, Twitter and Facebook. Anyway, moving on here, we have skin sale events. Unlock all skins directly with ice, including tier 2 and tier 3. Here's how you get them. Yeah, it's just what we had before, which is cool. And then new quests and quest improvements. New quest sequences, kill 4 bots, kill 12 bots, kill 30 bots. Cool. Uh, win 2 bot matches, win 3 bot matches, 5 bot matches, win versus bots in battle route versus bots in standard. So that's, you know, just new kind of standard quest, nothing too crazy there. Co-op bots, co-op bots, battle royale, any bot mode, kill 10 bots, yeah, still pretty normal stuff. They updated a lot of stuff with the bots, so that's why I'm guessing they added in all those new quests. Uh, new conquest, conquest chest, uh, quest kill 100 bots, and you get one of, damn, that's totally worth it. It's so easy to get 100 kills in bots, you could literally just farm for one game and get 100 kills. That's so worth it, not even gonna lie. Alright, moving on here, uh, player, players told us they prefer this quest type to not be in ranked because of the insta-locking, so we've removed it. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, that's like a legit reason. Um... Hero quests, you can't like insta lock a hero just to get the quest finished and ranked. Community quests, consider it bot teammates. Um, oh wait, did I miss something? Oh, they didn't, they didn't squeeze in any more community chests uh, because it was a short cycle. But yeah, if you guys want to, you can submit your own and I believe I made a video on that at some point. Excuse me. Uh, consider a bot teammate. Select your hero. The bots will assume you're playing the default world for that hero since Saw is traditionally a laner, for example. The AI, AI will assume you intend to play it in that position. So the bots would select Rome and Jungle. So that's pretty cool. That's like a new level of like knowledge that they have. And then you can select your position. You can optionally choose to play your role in the lobby and that will override your default settings. Select Saw and Rome and the bots will respond by selecting lane and Jungle. That's actually pretty freaking sweet. So. Like, if you want to try out something that wouldn't normally be in that position, like if you wanted to try out, like, Samuel Jungle or something, when he's normally played as a laner, you could override that, put him as a jungle, and then you would still have a game that made sense because, like, you would, they would pick laners and, and uh, supports. So that's pretty cool. Last update of Summer Season. Duh. <laughs> it's going to be the last one, so that means that there's going to be the reset for all this stuff, and, you know, everything gets put back to zero, basically, so... You guys don't know how the seasons work a ways ways back i made a video on them but basically everything just gets reset every season and uh, you go from that although 
one note that a lot of people still don't seem to understand. Your visual skill, skill tier gets reset back down to zero, but your uh, matchmaking score stays where it is. So you don't just get to match against like super, super easy people. Anyway, pedal munion intelligence. This is the stuff that I actually care about. Hero balance changes. Okay, so pedal. Fix stuttering when attacking a fleeing target. That was annoying. I don't actually think it was that big of an issue, but they did fix it, which is nice. And then fix not returning to pedal off to killing their target. That was a big issue that really screwed you up sometimes. Uh, munion durability. Munion's health has been moved up from 100 scaling to 450 plus 25% CP to 100 scaling to 500 plus 30% CP. So they're just more tanky as far as health goes by quite a bit. Uh, at level five, they get an extra 50 base as well as an extra 5% scaling. So that's that's gonna be a lot of extra health. So Munions are not gonna be as easy to take down. Trampoline no longer requires level two to learn. That's kind of cool. So you can... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So you can use it and it will still spawn the seed, but it takes a lot more energy and stuff. So what you might want to do is like sit in base for a little bit and jump around and then like at the last moment, jump through that wall so that you can get out to them. Yeah, that's kind of strange. I don't know about this. That's going to be really interesting to see how pedal starts. Uh, if they start with their just siege, or if they start with their jump. Anyway, spontaneous combustion cooldown per charge has moved down from 35 scaling to 25 to 30 scaling to 20. So a nice little buff there. So overall, this seems like a pretty like pretty large buff to pedal and i felt that she was quite strong in the last patch i know some people didn't like her but i really i thought she was pretty good in the last patch so i'm definitely gonna be playing even more pedal because that seems that seems like that could be pretty strong uh, as far as black for the goes base health has been moved up from 730 scaling to 1340 to 782 scaling to 1431 so nice little base health buff there uh, always good nothing crazy though uh heartthrob which is his heroic uh, passive or heroic perk rather uh, crystal ratio has been moved up from 10% to 15% per stack that's that's actually pretty like, like that's a lot because he can get five stacks so you're looking at 75% CP scaling per auto attack when he has five stacks just on his auto attacks and then you add on to that like an alternate current or something like I could see CP black brother really working I'm gonna have to try that out. Anyway, on point uh, weapon ratio has been moved up from 50 to 80. That's good because on point really like felt like it did something when they had it at 50%. So turning it to 80%, I think is really gonna make on point like a legitimate option for him. And the minion damage crystal ratio moved up from 50 to 70. So another little CP buff there. But overall, Black Brother, nice buffs all around, and he might be pretty strong in this patch. I I'm definitely gonna have to see how CP Black Brother plays. It could be kind of fun, a little off meta there. Um, Kashka health has, moved, has been moved up from uh, 761 scaling to 1491 to 792 scaling to 14, uh, 1595. So, yeah, just overall buff there. Blood Rush uh, movement speed boost has been moved up from 2 to 2.5. If you guys don't know, that's when she hits stuff, she goes fast. Uh, nice little buff, nothing crazy though. I mean, like it's nice, but at a point you don't really notice movement speed buffs. Uh, Pouncy Fun, cooldown has been moved down from 9 scaling to 7 to 8 scaling to 6. Okay, so that's just a nice little buff all around right there. And Crystal Ratio has been moved up from 100 scaling to 120. That's another, like, big buff. <laughs> this is a hero that I really liked playing and I thought it was good. And they're buffing her, so, I mean, this update's working out well for me. Anyway, Twirly Death, cooldown down from 8 scaling to 6 to 6 at all levels except for five at level five so nice little buff there and duration of power and attacks up from five to ten like damn all right kashka we we gonna have some games together this is gonna be fun holy shit i was spamming kashka last update and i i was doing well with her too like and they're gonna buff her like that hell yeah all right lyra bright bulwark duration down from two to uh, 2.5 to two that's probably good because bright bulwark is just it's such an annoying ability, right? Because there's so many heroes that just get hard countered by it. Um, Celeste minion dam or yeah, minion damage change from two scaling to 200 plus 20% crystal ratio to 120 scaling to 220 plus 25% crystal ratio. So Celeste gets a little bit more wave clear, kind of nice. Lance uh, change recommended items from crystal to utility. Literally no actual gameplay change there. What is the title of this? Hero balance changes. How is that a balance change? It changes nothing about him. 
All right, whatever. Oh, I'm an idiot. I literally just didn't keep reading. Uh, his combat roll, bonus damage up from 50 scaling to 150 to 80 scaling to 200. That's a nice little buff there. Um, Lance already felt pretty strong though. So again, these little buffs to heroes that already feel strong, I'm kind of confused about. And then Kestrel changed uh, recommended items from creature to weapon. So this is literally, this, this right here, not at all a hero balance change. That has nothing to do with the balance of the hero. No. Okay. We're just going to move past that though. Item changes. Protector contract charge time down from 20 to 15 seconds. So yeah, I guess it'll be a little more useful. Again, no one just, I don't get it. No one gets contracts. I mean, every once in a while you see them, but they're just not that popular. Dragon Blood contract charge time down from 40 to 25 seconds. Cooldown down from 15 to 10 seconds. Nice little buff there. Maybe it'll be useful. We'll see. And then Serpent's Mass base weapon damage up from 75 to 85. This is something I've been looking for for a long time. I, I've always liked buying Serpent's Master because I really like going for the life skill, but it's just, it never seemed to deal any damage. And I'm hoping that even just that tiny little buff is going to be enough to make it like useful, right? Like that 10 damage plus 100% crit plus 200% extra crit damage. That gets pretty, pretty impressive pretty quick, right? So I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be you know, useful. Um, also, it'll mean that it stacks with breaking points slightly quicker, so, you, so the BP Serpent's Mask combo can come back a little quicker. And then bug fixes, Scarf's Dragon Breath will no longer unintentionally silence items. That's been like an on and off bug for like so many patches, holy crap, that's been around for so long. Targeting rings will uh, no longer stay up for items after the item was activated. Oh yeah, that was kind of annoying. Fortress's Bulls no longer stutter when attacking a fleeing target. Okay, uh, bots were no longer by multiple pairs of boots. <laughs> I remember that one. Saw's gun barrel will spin up properly. Okay, Crow's Park will no longer visually appear to be permanently activated. Yeah, that was an issue. I remember because that was in like a esports match and there was a whole big controversy. Krill's sword would properly disappear from his chest while in its flight. Wow, this is some strange bugs that I've like never seen. Uh, you will no longer be granted ambient gold for single kill if multiple minions plus monsters died simultaneously. Huh, I didn't even know that existed, but that's kind of cool. And Summer who won't last forever, be sure to take advantage of the last days of sunlight. Check out our new mage hero, Samuel, and unlock the many Summer rewards while you still can. So there you guys have it. That is the update for you. Pretty short one. Uh, if you guys have any, any questions or anything like that, you can leave in the comments down below. I will answer what I can. And then uh, also, as far as Samuel goes, I have a whole playlist that I will link in the description as well as in a card in the upper right hand corner that you guys can click on to uh, to learn all about him as well as when the skin come out, I'm gonna be doing reviews for all of them. So there you guys have it. Thumbnail right there. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.